imagine. Oh, glorious. Glorious. J-I-M-M-G-O, baby, Twitch, let me resub J-I-M-M-G. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Mama Bosco, for the seven months. Thank you for staying fantastic. Glorious. <laughs> so, Shawnee went with an assassin. Um, and not with a blitzer. Uh, which I'll interesting a runner um blah. what's he called um pw goes two re-rolls two witches and a runner so shawnee has forgive for foregone the witch elf and the runner for the third re-roll and obviously lots of blodge um five five kind of blodges and a dirty player lino, okay. Um, this is a better meme. I don't know, I don't know what there's, I don't know why there's, it's a better meme, to be honest, I don't. The assassin, PW runs an assassin, there's nothing bad about an assassin. Um, and then there you go, obviously standard strip tackle, block, some dodges. All right, so. The glory of the NAF, the NAF official, eh? Having an even TV match, unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah, but Assassin, Assassin, that's what I mean, that's absolutely normal to go on Assassin. Well, I say normal. Pete W, greatest Dark Elf coach in the world, whatever the stats say. <laughs> He might be number one. I don't know. There are there are rankings, aren't there? So look, let's Google NAF rankings and, uh, and see where he is. Um, variant Blood Bowl race Dark Elves. Oh, he's, he's way down, Pete W. Holy shit, he's, he's only sixth on Dark Elves, but he is the best. Even though he's only ranked sixth in the world, he is the best. Yeah, but you've got to have an assassin. He runs an assassin anyway, Shawnee. You haven't, the, the assassin isn't part of the equation to get, an, to get a runner. The, um, the, 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 what you've done is gone for the third reroll in exchange... He he runs he runs the assassin, but he goes two witches and a runner. So you've given up the witch and the runner for the third reroll, which um, you know I uh, so. yeah exactly the runner is the runner is very good. Hello, Skuro. No, he's, he's ranked four. But the, 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 the problem with these rankings is it's just whatever you use the most, you know? Like, I'm ranked about fucking fifth or something on Fumble with Dark, with uh, Undead. Like, fifth on online um, with Undead. But because I'm using Wood Elves in the latest tournament, it's, you know, it's not going to affect my, uh, my rankings. So, really... If people have a high ranking on the NAF rankings, it's mostly because they, um... Yeah, where is he? He's fourth. It, it mostly just means that they've played a lot with them, you know? Let's, let's see how many tournaments he's been to. See, he's, he's done better with, he's done way better with Wood Elves. We can look at Andy Devo here, right? And he's 33-8-7 with Dark Elves. And eight three one with with wood elves. So, if he had, you know, like, so I don't know. That's that's way better, isn't it? You know, he could have been thirty two, twelve, four. So really, it's just, it's mostly just how many games you played. 
without being uh, without being facetious or anything. You don't just put him there. So he can't stab anyone. He's played 108 matches in 18 tournaments. That's crazy. And then you've got. Oh, yeah, Garrick. He's, he's Garrick's up near the top. I've never heard of him in my life. But let's. Someone, someone in chat mentioned him. So let's have a look at Garrick. Garrick is second. And he's 61, 23, 22 with Dark Elves. Which is alright, isn't it? But it's mostly because he just played a lot of games with him. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not, obviously, yeah, it's, it's the, defi the deciding factor is going to be games played between people of, you know, like, what, once you're in the top X, obviously you're good, right? So, therefore, the actual placing in the top X is, it's mostly down to games played, it is. It is. It's, it's mostly just games played. It really is mostly just games played. I thought I had blitz with a block and then that would have been pretty bad, wouldn't it? Three, four, five, six. So I do need... Going straight for that assassin. This isn't so easy to hit these on 2D, I don't think. Yeah, I'm, I'm not dissing the top players, you know, like, the, 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 what I'm saying is, right, the difference between Cara Foggard and Graham Thompson and Silvio Peg Greffi and Andy Davo and Pat. Pablo de la Casa and Pete Woodroff, there's not going to be a lot of difference between them, is there? And the actual, and even all the way down to Joe Manji. You know, Joe Manji's down in 227 for them, but I'm not on the list because I don't use Dark Elves. But if I did use Dark Elves, I'd be on the list, wouldn't I? So it's mostly just how many games they've played with the fucking team to be like the ordering of them. Is definitely who the, who they put. I I haven't even done well online. If you if you look at the if you look at the online stats of uh, of, of on of Blood Bowl online, I haven't even done well online, and I'm fourteenth. Just because I've played a few games with them, Dev. Not a joke. Have a look online. Eleven one five with undead. 
and three one one with Wood Elves. So if I'd played the Wood Elf, if I'd used Wood Elves with un instead of Undead, then my Undead ranking would be higher anyway. So I don't know. I, I don't put a lot of stock in the in the NAP rankings, to be honest. Right. Why is he carrying the dirty player? <laughs> because he's a fucking madman. Why why carry with Glodge when he can carry with dirty player? Ah, oh, he caught him. Could I go for a strip here? He is near the tree. He's sticking everyone on the tree, which is good, isn't it? I could I could swing around here. Put everybody in. Let's man's him. Hey. Like, cause he's still got the ball there, hasn't he? That's the thing. I can leap in, get him there, and then get away. Also get derp, derp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. That's not all man. No donuts for Jimmy, but a small donation to Senai's Wine Fund for putting up with Jimmy. <laughs> Colon closing parenthesis. <laughs> Colon closing parenthesis. Thank you very much, Cheesemonger. Um, thank you very much. I shall make sure. <laughs> I'll make sure Senai gets some wine. Thank you very much. Yeah, exactly, Mile. That's the thing. It the surf would have been really on, wouldn't it? It's just it's so tempting because you know you would have thought Shawnee would have handed it off to a blodger, wouldn't you? Um, and the fact that he hasn't, hadn't, he, he will do it this turn. Meant that it was a sweet two plus to get the ball, wasn't it? Three plus two plus to get the ball. Maybe I should have gone for it. I think I probably should have. Probably should have gone for that. Because he won't, he won't give me another. He will give me another chance at it. I thought he wouldn't give me another chance at it, but he has given me another chance at it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double GFI. How do I even base? Hope to base, base, base this guy. So he just hoped to base, bases him, and then he goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> it's actually pretty, pretty tricky. Oh no, I just block this guy down, don't I? And get in that way. Mm. 
Not so easy to get in there now. Six, seven, eight, GFI or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. Okay. Let's go. Why is dodge fucking option? Pretty annoying. Maybe I should have made that block there right for At least I faced the ball. <laughs> Hello, VIP Pedro. Yeah. Um, roll the one. Oh, he's finally gone for the handle. Which elf is out of the way? So not so exciting there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then two dice in there. Doesn't mean that I don't get to block him. Right. GFI to two D.
shit, use dodge. You played safe, then, eh? Derp, derp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. Face the ball. <laughs> Face the ball. Yes, yeah, snaff res and the bugs are solved, yeah. Um, yeah, to be honest, His Majesty Melancholy, what I want to do is, I want to play a lot of NAF and promote NAF and get it off the ground, you know, obviously for this week, um, until the new Chance Ladder start, season starts. I'll just play, like next week I'll only play NAF, NAF I guess. And then, um, you know, I'd like to split my team, split my time between NAF and uh, Champs Ladder. I'd still like to win Champs Ladder, you know, obviously. Um, so I guess some Champs Ladder and some NAF in the future. Looking for that sweet one in 36. I mean, I was basing the ball, but it was more basing the guy on the ground, even again, even though it's one in 36 to dodge him out. Wow, he didn't. He didn't dodge him out. Well, I'm a little bit shocked because he's in the he's in the danger of getting served, isn't he? To be honest. Why is he not got a circle on him but the others do? That's a weird little bug, isn't it? Right. That's at least herb dirt base 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 that one. It's not good, is it? It's a, it's a dodge in and then dodges out. But um, I want to do it. Oh, I got injured. Get banged on. And I think I just dodged in on a five, yeah, so. And I think I can go here as well. Ha ha ha. Brilliant. He's obviously staying where he is, facing two people. Um, I've still got him as well, which I'd forgotten about. Now he could go there to make it harder for him to get out. Like, him doing a potato, I guess, is his best shot at the moment. Maybe keeping him back, or he, can, he could do some kind of pass and reverse field. Maybe over here is good. Because he's going to be slow as near this time. Do give up the block on the ward answer, but I thought it was worth it to put tackle on the air. Uh, on the witch elf in case he was going to go for a surf, but um, it was a bit stupid, I guess. Like, I was really scared of the counter surf there, obviously.
three Ds. Three D in catches, which is a good idea, isn't it? The old attrition blitzers. But he's not moving forward very well. Wow, he's made a GFI. He's rolled a one. He's gonna foul, isn't he? He's gonna foul. <laughs> oh shit. Ah! Oh, fuck, he got the KO. Has that exposed the ball? No. Like, kind of. I guess. Hmm. Hub dub base base base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. I'll just block him. I don't have to make a fucking dodge in here. A GFI. You can block him. at least then I've got it's a one in nine but I've got a reroll for it haven't I of course I failed that's pretty annoying and maybe they shouldn't have done the GFIs if we get the assist on Potato. He's got me with a potato. Should have just moved one of them back, maybe, yeah. Move this guy back. He's fucking done it. Fucking Shawnee. Ignoring threat.
Brilliant double one. Just what I needed. <laughs> of course, they are still and wasted my last re roll. I fucking caught some cas though, like holy hell, three guys down. So has one himself, one got served. So, I guess there's a chance of scoring early and then going for the turnover, but I should have, uh, I should have made the GFI, shouldn't I? I could have made a two plus dodge and a two plus GFI to uh, get the assist and instead of going for that one in nine block. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. That's something somebody should try, isn't it? Right. Leap. I don't have a reroll, so I don't want to do anything involving a leap, do I? So that means I probably want to use the whole method as much as I hate it. Push him into the hole. Walk him forward to there. And block him forward to there. And he dodges out and scores. And he cancels the assist. So two dice, three dice. I don't I don't risk a leap to her. He can power him. And I throw it to throw and I catch it to catch it. I wish I'd saved that reroll. Could I push him to there and then block him again? I can't, can I? Yeah. No, I can't. <sighs> so I could have pushed him to there, then got him in, then he could have 2 d him, then he would have only been in one tackle zone. But now, can I get in there? No, I good. Right. <laughs> I don't have the players though. Shit. Oh, he gets the interception. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Jesus and KO. Oh, brilliant. All right. So being super lucky. Funnily enough, Cheesemonger being super lucky with the uh, with the KO rolls there. He's down to seven. So... I'm inclined to go for the Inarian touchdown. Maybe Jake Snake Eyes, they're certainly good. It gives you more chance of getting a one turn. Um, so I wouldn't hate it. Let's protect against the blitz, eh? Should have learnt my lesson from last time. Against Moldy. Try to push down this side. Three dice there, two dice there, blitz him, cage up here with a ball. Cheeky two turner. Oops. Oh, and that actually looks like a real formation, doesn't it? Three there, three there. Yeah, what would Inarian do? Lose to Sean his dark elf. That's probably true, but. Um, <laughs> What you've got to do is, I mean, now it, you've got to go for the, you've got to go the Inarian route, haven't you, here with, uh, with players, players up and everything and uh, trying to score. You've got to go for the score here, I think. Yeah. And get the canoring threats ready. Pretty good, that's pretty good flash. Well done. Very good. Very good flash. Does he use the reroll? No. Oh, he doesn't need to. I don't have to. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, good. Don't even have dodge. What kind of a dickhead doesn't carry this dodge? Me. That's him.
Wow, dirty dingo. Pals, pals my dodger. One dice. Right, so I can just fucking make it a two plus, can't I, if I want? But that doesn't seem like the smartest way of doing things. Like literally could just pass it there. Boom. But what I would like to do is clear this blitzer and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do it in it. So I've just got to blitz her down. Knock her down somehow. So making it a dodge from him. And then push it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, still not good, but could just. But if I'm going to do that two plus, oh no, I can't because he's there. So I could knock him down. No, that's not good. So let's move these players first. Go double one. So that was better than uh, making a pass, wasn't it? There's no way I could do it without any dice. Was there? there was no, there was literally no way I could do it without any dice. Ah, I would have rolled quad ones. What kind of idiot doesn't carry with a bludger against elves? That's what I want to know. I'm really paying the price for not just carrying it with a bludger. Instead of going for... See, this is what I think. I went for the fucking... The dumbass thing of I'll try and pass it to somebody. If I just picked it up on a war dancer, I would have had it with bludge already. And I'm just fucked it all up because I just didn't carry with a bludger. Idiotic. Deserve to lose. So I could have just blocked her, but I didn't want to risk the one in nine. Like without block, but if I had done that, I would have won. I would have quad scored, wouldn't I? Which would have been pretty funny. Oh no, because the next dice would have been the armor rolls. So. Ah, good. Standard Sean.
same. He's just got too much, hasn't he? He's got too much good stuff. <laughs> Causes are real. This has been a game for once, haven't they? Shawnee's won loads of dodges and GFIs. I've won GFIs and dodges. Holy shit. What's wrong with scoring in turn 16? Because then it wouldn't be a draw. It would be a draw pass by Stegen, and he's on seven players. I mean, eight max. He's max eight players. So, and he got lucky as fuck to score last last drive. Well, not lucky. I left him an opening. Um, but, you know, if I had played a little bit better, he wouldn't have been able to score. So... Well, he's got too much good stuff. What I mean is, Fash, he's got too many players that can reach to get places. That's what I mean. That's the thing. That's the thing. He's got too many... Uh, he's got too many people in places that can just dodge out to, to get the ball. No, that's what I mean. Not, obviously not. Oh, that was a bad push square, wasn't it? opinion not that counts for anything but I thought that was a terrible push square from Shawnee he's in for a one dice on the ball good 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 Right. <laughs> so. I'd really like to blitz him, wouldn't I? But that's a 2D, 2D. 2D, 2D. Get it to him. Can't be an Aryan. I just can't. I just can't be an Aryan. I can't do it. Go the least risky players every time. Double one. Um, the reason is Floricia is that they are not an official tabletop race, even though the NAF have had their uh, their you know their fucking vote on whether to allow Brits or not. Um, you know, they, they have yet to decide on whether they are going to be properly good or not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> See how many double ones we can both roll. Holy shit. Oh, yeah! Oh, God. So they, they may become official. Oh. He caught it. I didn't help it. I was going to give it to a... I was going to try and score. I mean, to be fair, if I try to hand it off, I would have won it, so. <laughs> Johnny Wonder the ball. <laughs> Rolls the skull. Again. <laughs> wow, this is so fucked up. Right, he can hand off now. Um, he can two dice with block.
He can two dice with one. Great. He can get a push here, surely. Yes. Yes, did it. Unbelievable, Jack. Right, that was that was <laughs> that was my attempt at a two-turn touchdown. <laughs> uh, the sad thing is the dice include the armor roll, so it won't even look crazy with the ones probably. Oh shit! They came back. If they'd stayed out, it would have been uh, game over maybe. But as it is, he's got he's got a chance, hasn't he? Three turns to turn him over and score. I mean, giving up blocks on a quick snap. I guess it's not worth it, is it? But it doesn't make the centre stronger. Within the strength, the centre's got a fucking war dancer in it. So a war dancer, fucking tree. Man. Oh no, it is good. Fuck it. I'll risk. I'll risk. I'll risk the quick quick snap. No. Leader's gone anyway, so now he's just a normal lineman, isn't he? Yeah, the game of war. Yeah, exactly, Will King. It's fucking stupid, isn't it? <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Might as well just roll the dice. See what happens. like a mad cunt, also known as Inarion. Oh, got a blitz. So he's got a GFI. That is classic Inarion. <laughs> classic Inarion. That really is. Blitz this guy, maybe? Maybe he's, maybe he's just double GFI with a war dancer. Maybe he's blitzed this one. And then he, he's done all right for as many places as he's got. He's done as good a defense as he can, I think. Let's maybe keep the stripper back as a safety. I don't know. Hub up base, 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 got a three man advantage. I don't hate it. But we'll blitz him that and run through the middle down, which is good. Right, GFI anyway, let's let's just get the ball first of all. Right, good. Just do a two D blitz. Okay. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Fucking absolutely fucking brilliant. See, now I made the wrong play there just because I'd fucking failed everything. So if, I, if I'd gone for the conservative play of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and made it a two di 3 dice, it would have been better.
thing is, he's taken a lot of people back to get the ball, hasn't he? Um, and he's wrestled himself. So even though that was terrible, it's still done its job. <laughs> Yeah, it was still, yeah, exactly. The blitz it is a pain in the dick hole, even uh, even if it all turns out all right. Let's make this block first. Then. <laughs> oh, great! What a shit turn to use. I didn't want to use a real. I didn't want to go for the fucking one dice and the ball. Because it was like a three plus three plus, wasn't it? Didn't want to use a real on that and then used it anyway on a fucking two dice block. Holy shit. I think this is the turn now, isn't it? Do or die this turn, whatever happens. So one, two, three, four, no. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double GFI. I just leap in. I'm seventy five percent in. Two dice. He's obviously got to go there. Alright. I wanna keep him as the safety. But he could also go for the recovery. Maybe just leap in here. Go around the houses? Not really. Right. 
So the question is leap or dodges, isn't it? Be two three plus dodges. And that seems a bit shit. Or it'd be a three plus two plus and then hit with only tackle. That seems better. Then he could come back. And then I can use the rear on the last turn. There you go, double one. Yeah, I, uh, the 4 plus dodge was there as well. I did mention that as well, yeah, I thought about that, the 4 plus dodge, 75% in. But this way I've got the uh, strip safety, haven't I, which is a better, a better safety to have. Some fucking horrible dice this game. Isn't a single leap better than well I had the I had the dodge skill didn't I Flourishia? So I'm I was only adding the one in thirty six dodge. So like a single leap better than what? A single leap better than the dodge. The thing is, if you do, you can do the four plus dodge with strip. There, there were three options basically. Four plus dodge in. The advantage is you don't need a reroll on it, so you're seventy five percent to just work. Um, if you go for what I did, which was the three plus two plus, you've got dodge on them both, so you're more likely to do it without using your reroll, aren't you? And make way more likely than the four plus one as well. Um, but then if you just want to go balls to the wall, the leap obviously gives you the best odds, but then you're less likely to have a rear on the block. So it's all, it's all six and two threes really, isn't it, at the end of the day. There's pros and cons for all of it. Oh man, look at this dice roll from Shawnee. Lucky fucking bastard, just to get a fucking, <laughs> just to get a fucking dickhead, uh, shadowing on it. The less rolls, the better. Well, I'm not sure. I mean, that's because I didn't use a reroll on it, did I? So there's there's something to be said for keeping your rerolls, isn't there? Um, I'm just gonna have to one dice the ball. Got to run around the longer way, I think. Yeah, I'd have to anyway. Ah, but that means he's still in range. Right. He can reach. But it's some fucking dice rolls. And he'd be in a tackle zone when he passed it to him. One in nine to get him into there, that's got to be done, hasn't it? Hey. Right, so now this is a three plus two plus, two plus there. Three, three, pass it to him. Mm. 
I mean, he's got a really good chance to score, hasn't he? I can't really tag the witch elf. Yeah, fucking auto pathy. It's a load of shit, isn't it? Oh, man. Oh, shit. I should have checked to see how far I could throw it. Fuck. Fuck. And I rolled a six as well. So I could have just stayed where I was, thrown it. Would have caught it. Oh, I could have passed it him and he could have handed it off. <gasps> oh, wow, the, I've got a 5 plus intercept. But wow, that was really dumb. I hadn't moved this guy, had I? I could have passed it to him. Yeah, this guy I could have passed it to. But then that was more risky, 5 plus intercept. But yeah, that was the play, wasn't it, probably? Because he's still got to get it to him. He, he's the only one in scoring range, isn't he? Oh no, this guy is with two. Oh my god, his assassin is going to score. <laughs> oh my god. The fucking memes. <laughs> I guess what I should have done was just kept the ball on the on the catcher. Um, but there you go. Amazingly, the two one grind failing. Who would have? Who could have possibly? Who could have possibly predicted the two one getting two one grinded by choice? Even with a three man advantage, turns out giving your opponent the ball for two drives isn't isn't a good idea, is it? But there you go. And the the fucking dice rolls aren't even going to look bad, I bet. 20, 28, 27, 35. Because the armor and injury rolls are counted in amongst them. And, like, it's just all a bit crap, isn't it? But 72% um, dodges for me. And 86% for Shawnee. So, really, Shawnee failed his first few dodges. But after that, didn't fail many, did he? He failed, it, like, he failed quite a few the first couple of turns. And then just didn't fail the dodge for the rest of it. But there you go. He, he did well better on the dodges. But then I did some three pluses as well, to be fair. But there you go. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was a... Uh, that was a pretty awesome game, to be fair, yeah. It was an awesome game. I, I mean, I, obviously I could have taken the... Now... <laughs> now... Um, it isn't being silly to say I could have taken the draw there. Obviously, I was three men up. I could have just picked up the ball with a with a ward answer, and um, and then I could have you know pretty much stalled it out pretty easily for a one one draw. But of course, I wanted to go for the win, even though it took me five turns to score. <laughs> I wanted to go for the early touchdown to get the uh, to get the turnover for the win, just just for the shits and giggles. Really, I mean. If it was probably if it was Swiss, I'd probably taken the draw against Shawnee. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, taking the draw is boring. I mean, there's no reason to, is there? At the end of the day, there's nothing to lose by d losing. So, yeah, exactly. If it meant something, if there was like, if if it was in a Swiss, probably just taking the draw. But even then, three men down, it's kind of tempting to go for it, isn't it? Especially I had shots on the ball in the first half that I just didn't take. 
either through one in nine, well, one in eighteen's failing or one in thirty six is failing. So I figured I'd get shots on the ball. Did get a shot on the ball at the end, <laughs> and then uh, and then passed to the wrong. I could I could have passed the guy in the tackle zone, but it would have been a five plus intercept. Maybe I should have just kept it after I got the ball. Don't know. Maybe I should have just kept it. Once I'd realised I was out of range, I probably should have just kept it and uh, dodged that other guy out and based the assassin. Would have probably been the better play, wouldn't it? Rather than just p passing to a guy that wasn't in range of, hoping that it would either scatter into his hands or bounce into his hands was a bit fucking crazy. But it was a good game, very entertaining. Thank you very much, Shawnee. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.